parade of political candidates continues tonight. Next up is Republican congressional candidate Lance Sigmund, who is with WHKY's Rob Eastwood. Joined by Lance Sigmund, Republican candidate for the U.S. Congress 10th District. And Lance, thanks for coming by. Well, thank you very much for having me. Busy time for you, and we're getting closer and closer now. Oh, yeah, it's uh, getting there, and we're working late every night. The issues I want to talk to you about are, are issues that a lot of candidates have spoken about, and I want to get into that now um, but, or in a moment. But first, give us a little of your background leading up to what's, you know, I guess prompted you to run for this position. Well, as most of you know, I grew up here uh, and uh, joined the Air Force uh, shortly after I graduated from Newton Conrad High School. Uh, after I completed my four-year enlistment, I came back here, went to college and law school, and then re-entered the Air Force for 17 years where I served as a judge advocate. When I brought my family back home here and we had a chance to look around and see the change of the you know, loss of jobs and change of demographics, we were concerned and started looking into uh, some of the things that I thought I could do to help the people in this district. And after praying and talking about it a lot, we decided that uh, we would uh, run for Congress because I thought I could do a better job. The education system, we'll start with that. What needs to be done there? Well, I think the one thing we have with education, and one of my big concerns is, is you have the federal government involving, involved in what I think is a local issue. Uh, I think people here locally better understand what their, their, the needs are in education. I think the families understand what their children need as far as education. And when you have bureaucrats in Washington who make more than teachers do and are not teaching uh, uh, children, I think that that's a, 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 the wrong way to attack the problem. I think the money should stay here locally. Let the local uh, families and, and school boards determine what's best for the children. Uh, that way they, can, uh, un they understand the needs they have and, and can take care of them better than an out-of-touch bu uh, bureaucracy in Washington. How about energy, the energy policy, and I guess the conservation of energy? I know you've spoken about uh, the dependence we have on foreign sources. What can be done there? Well, clearly I support uh, drilling and domestic uh, for locations and sites, obviously we need to build more refineries, but those are long-term solutions. I know what, there's some been talk about lowering the federal gas tax, again, which would be a good short-term fix. I think another problem we have is we, we uh, our refineries make too many different kinds of brands of gasoline. If we could, and the last I looked, it was over 45. If we could limit that number, I think you'd improve the efficiency of the refineries we have now, which w in the short term would increase supply and hopefully lower the price of gas as well. You've spoken of universal health care. You're opposed to it. Uh, what needs to be done in our health care system here in this country? Well, I think people understand uh, what their health care needs are. When I was in the military, that was a, f a form of, of uh, universal health care, that you were told which doctors you had to see and what procedures you, were ha you had to do. Under those circumstances, that was fine. But I think an individual needs to make their own choice about which doctor they want to see, uh, what uh, care they they're in, they want to take care uh, take advantage of and I think what we can do in a situation like that is encourage people to uh, to get insurance health insurance and one of the ways the federal government can help is to encourage that through tax breaks or tax credits a lot of jobs have been lost in the 10th district recently what can we do as far as job creation is concerned well, as an individual congressman, I can't bring you a job. Now, there's a couple of things I can do, obviously, and I just noticed uh, today there was another announcement that 100 and some jobs were lost in this area as well. One thing I can do is be a salesman for this district. And I, you know, I'll get to meet a lot of people in Washington and other places, get to talk to business leaders, and I can talk to them about the positive attributes of this county, of this district, and tell them what things we have, like the, the great people we have, their ability to do the job, some of the resources we have. By doing that, I can encourage them to look at this area to relocate. And, of course, I will know the business and civic leaders here. I can put these two people together or these groups of people together and encourage a, a dialogue that ultimately could end up with people coming here uh, to, to bring jobs into the local area. Now, another thing we can do is obviously make sure that... Uh, uh, any uh, grants or loans that can help the infrastructure in this area or maybe education are secured for our, for our district. That way we can continue to educate our, the fine workers we have here and have the infrastructure we need to attract these new industries. Finally, illegal immigration, uh, obviously a hot-button issue in the campaign this year. What do you think needs to be done there? 
Well, Congress has talked about illegal immigration for years. Uh, since 2005, uh, the number of illegals in this country have doubled. Uh, you know, they talk a good game. You know, we got to secure the border. Uh, until you stop the flow of illegals across the border, we're never going to get a hold of, of this issue or control this problem. Once you do that, I support a guest worker program because there's a lot of industries, seasonal farmers, uh, nurseries, things like that, that need workers that can come in here on a seasonal basis uh, to do the things that uh, some Americans just won't do. If you have a federal run uh, guest worker program, to do that, then we know who these people are. They're here working. We know why they're here, and we're con controlling the time they're here. Uh, it benefits both the work, the farmers, and the seasonal industries, and it also uh, helps us uh, get our crops out of the field and, and other things like that. Uh, I am not for any form of amnesty, however. A guest worker program would be an opportunity, just like we had many years ago with the green card system, for people from other countries to come here and work and yet go home when their work are, is completed. Lance, thanks so much for coming by. Thank you very much. Best of luck. And with Lance Sigman, Republican candidate for the 10th District U.S. Congress seat, I'm Rob Eastwood for the Unifor Tonight.